This idea that the White House is pulling back from the press briefing is coming directly from the president himself. He believes that those briefings are not useful to him. Uh, they are, they're not advancing his message. And, and he also it's, it's, is, it's, it's, is, it has nothing to do with him. Yeah, it's, but that's, it's, it's, that it's is the how American he feels about people. It. And yeah. he, he, here's, what I, here's what I would ask the, if, if it is true what you're saying. If, here's what, if you're a Trump supporter and the president is saying this, do you want a president who is unchallenged? who only delivers a message that he wants, that is not the American way. Presidents, yeah. anyone who is in authority, should be challenged, should be held to account by the American people, the people who put them in office. And that's what the media does, whether he likes it or not. It's not about the president. It's about the people who actually pay the president's salary. Right. And, well, and the challenge here is that the siege mentality isn't just Trump. It's it extends to all of his supporters, too. His supporters believe that the press briefing has become a, a medium by which the, the media persecutes the president. And so they view then it the way that better he press does. People. So that's, that's the challenge Then tell here. the truth at the, at the podium. And then it won't become a dog and pony show. Tell the truth. Get better people to represent you. Get people who will challenge you. Get people who aren't afraid to tell you the truth, who will stand up there and say, look, this is the truth. Get people, stop tweeting so that people don't have to defend you when what you write is indefensible. But go on, Ryan. I know you want to jump. No, in. I was just going to say this is also happening at a time when Trump himself has retreated from the media, right? He's, he's not doing as many uh, press uh, conferences or press availabilities. He's yeah. very rarely taking questions recently. He has, you know, as, as we showed with Maggie Haberman's tweet, he's, he's in this sort of bunker mentality. Do you remember and how the, much guff yeah. the Obama administration got when he didn't hold press conferences for, for a while? Oh, yeah, there was like a right. clock at the RNC. Uh, there was a, right. and, Can you yeah, imagine yeah. If, if the Obama yeah. administration had done this? I'm just yeah. saying. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the one, I, the one thing, look, Trump tweeted the other day that the media wants to, him to get rid of Twitter and, you know, we're trying to, to get him to stop using social media. That is not the case at all. The one what unfiltered... What would we talk about? No, okay, one, the, no I'm, seriously, the one unfiltered way we have access to Trump these days is through it's Twitter. Through his it's his media. lawyers and White House aides that want him to stop tweeting. 